to talk about, and here he is. Grant, first of all, congratulations on this win. What a terrific comeback in the second half. Your thoughts? My, my, my senior stepped up. You know, I, I benched Makai Gray in the first half because I didn't like his defensive intensity. I, I, I called out Kel DeGraff because he didn't have a single rebound. He did nothing physical. Makai Gray was excellent in the second half um, defensively. And, you know, Kel DeGraff, I don't think he had a point at halftime. He did. And he finished with 18 and 7. So if you just look at the second half alone, he, he played terrific. And I, and I challenged these guys, and I didn't know how they were going to respond. But they, they, they responded the right way. How about the game when he shot down the stretch, kind of the, the basket on and DeGraff kind of finishing it up? You know, what's funny, we, we, we beat Ford in the same exact way. Um, you know, my freshman, Tariq Francis, he's fearless. He went to the rim in those kind of situations. You know, I lost a game like that last year when I was assistant at Maryland. Uh, last regular season game at Penn State, everyone runs for the ball in a situation like that. Um, and then, you know, Kel was just Johnny on the spot. And credit to him, he's been hurt. I've challenged him. I challenged him at halftime. And I told him, if, if, if you don't start playing in the second half, I'm, I'm not playing you the rest of the year because you're underachieving and you need to overachieve. And that's what he did in the second half. How about coming out in the second half, kind of that full court pressure got UMBC kind of out of a rhythm, got you guys some momentum with some steals, some turnovers, and some easy buckets. Man-to-man -man wasn't working. So, you know, we tried to speed the game up. We, we, we tried to... Uh, you know, just do something differently. Um, and, and, and that's exactly what we did. And, you know, they're, they're a terrific team. Coach Ferry's a heck of a coach. And, um, you know, a lot of shots, you know, they shot the lights out in the first half. In the second half, you know, they, they missed some shots. And, you know, we rebounded and we just stuck with it. Grant, I want you to be able to celebrate this one. But if you can look at the monitor, we've got your upcoming schedule. It doesn't get any easier at Binghamton and then Vermont and Mass Lowell. So, <laughs> What do you think about that? I, I think I'm going to go back. I'm going to celebrate <laughs> this. Uh, my daughter's here. Uh, I'm going to bring oh, her in the fantastic. locker room. And then I'll, I'll look at the rest of that schedule tomorrow. But thank you, guys. Congratulations. Yeah, Congratulations. It's a big win thank for you. you. It's an awesome victory for NJIT tonight. Kudos to the Highlanders. Kudos to Grant Milbeyer. And, you know, we talked to him yesterday, Rick, and this is so true. In order for